the contrasting roles of science and technology in environmental challenges. Humanity faces a plethora of existential environmental challenges, among them, resource depletion, ecosystem service deterioration, pollution, biodiversity loss and climate change. Environmental problems are products of complex, often nonlinear, interactions between people and the environment, and our understanding of them is usually incomplete and clouded by profound uncertainties. These problems cannot be managed only in terms of cause and effect relationships, as they involve multiple actors, and vary over time and space, often with very long time lags between human action and environmental effects. Human health and well being, for example, are closely linked to the integrity of local, regional, and global ecosystems. The same ecosystems that in a vicious circle are at risk due to pollution and resource depletion. In part because of their complexity, such problems are often not well communicated and are frequently misunderstood by the public, the press and politicians. Because of the interdependencies between humans and the environment, most environmental challenges require fundamental changes in attitudes and behaviors from governments, industry and individual citizens. While most people think sustainability is an important problem, they are often unresponsive, seem slow to act, do not always understand, and often deny environmental imperatives, creating substantial social and psychological barriers. Surveys of 33 countries between 1993 and 2010 showed increasing levels of environmental apathy. Averaged nationally, 25% of respondents ranked the economy as their greatest concern, followed by healthcare, 22.2%, education, 15.6%, poverty, 11.6%, crime, 8.6%, environment, 4.7%, immigration, 4.1%, and terrorism, 2.6%. Environmental issues did not rank first in any surveyed nation. Given that government action to protect the environment in the past was driven by widespread public demand, the current public inertia could mean that action to manage potentially existential environmental risks could come too late. Governments use policies, legislation, regulations, and taxation to influence people's behavior and address environmental challenges. Decision makers aspire to evidence based policy, and this creates imperatives to systematize knowledge transfer and application. Evidence based decision making has become a byword for good governance. In the UK, for example, over the last three decades, the government has promoted evidence based policy to replace ideologically driven policy, but its development has highlighted the challenges of dealing with environmental uncertainty and the need for transparency in the process. The effects of environmental uncertainty combined with issues of trust in government and science have impacted public perception and willingness to take environmental action. It is increasingly difficult for the public to understand or verify the evidence behind public policies, how it was generated, derived, or synthesized. These trends have further exacerbated public concerns about the role of science. At a time when knowledge is being accumulated at unprecedented rates and understanding of the natural world has never been so high, although by no means complete, public scientific literacy is allegedly in a period of serious decline, with people becoming less engaged with science and technology. As a result, science is increasingly perceived as just another authority, telling the public what to believe, and how to act. This has coincided with, and perhaps precipitated, an era of backlash against authority. The Edelman Trust Barometer has collected data annually for 17 years on the level of public trust in business, media, government, and NGOs. Their survey of 33,000 people in 28 countries in 2017, for the first time found a decline in trust across all four institutions. In almost two-thirds of the countries surveyed, the average level of trust that these four institutions would do what is right was below 50%. Environmental scientists have also raised concerns about often having little control on how their research findings are used, for example, as political ammunition, to support previously predetermined positions or to promote specific interests. Public discourse is increasingly distrustful of environmental science, but is it a rejection of science or an erosion of trust in how it is applied?
while the relationship between the domains of science and technology has never been stronger, science and technology have different purposes, distinctive needs and divergent ways of viewing and knowing the world, and thus their relationship is often tense and complex. The paper examines the main differences between environmental science and environmental technology, reviews how the wider science technology convergence has affected them and evaluates potential implications for how societies respond to sustainability challenges.